Alright, welcome back to our new clip for today. So, uh, we're on our way to NeoGen to get our K-Tuner V1.2 installed on our 2018 Civic RS Turbo for the reason na I need to get it if I wanted to utilize the performance that the headers would put sa car natin. So, we're gonna go there, get it installed, and also I wanted to get rid of a check engine so for the emissions the code siya, uh, usually happens when you install a catalyst headers because the O2, O2 sensor niya hindi na nagbabasa ng tama because nga naging catalyst yung headers so from catalytic so by doing the K-Tuner V1.2 ma-adjust na yung O2 sensors natin para it would read correctly and so that we can have increased performance, no? increased wheel horsepower for this one. Alright, so we just got here sa Neo Gen. And papakapit na natin yung K-Tuner V1.2 natin kay Sir Alvin. Okay. So puro Honda Civics na dito. FCs! Ito yung shop car, hey, Sir Alvin. Tapos tune tune yung Civic natin. So, may na offer sa akin na K-Tuner V2. Dapat 1.2 lang. Pero used. Alright. So, in-upload na yung tune. Ni Sir Alvin from Neogen. Ayan. So, tinaasan yung boost. From 16 PSI to 21 PSI. So, uh, una una, uh, yung upper left is the turbocharged pressure. Okay. Yung 21 PSI, uh, yung PSI na yan is yun yung boost natin. Uh -huh. From 16, ginawa na natin 21. So, IT pre-boost sa taas. Yes. IT to si post-boost. Uh, post -boost, uh -huh. So, yun yan yung ambient temperature. Okay. So, hindi natin ma-control yan. Depende sa temperature ng panahon. Okay. The next is AFR, air fuel ratio. Mm -hmm. Yung halo ng gas and fuel. Lower the better? No. Actually, ang idol niya is nasa 14.7. 14.7? Yeah, ang target niya. Okay. Pero pag umahataw ka, mababa yan as low as 9 to 10. Okay. Yan yung target niya. Okay. Okay? Um, next is BAT, self-explanatory uh -huh. naman, no? So, the next one is ECT, engine cool and temperature. Okay. Uh, average is 85 to 100. 85 to 100. Uh -huh. Tapos pag 105, 110. 110. Above, overheat. Then. Overheat. So next is engine coolant temperature 2. That's radiator temp. Okay. Average is 55 to 100. Okay. So K-con and the K-count is determining your so, fuel quality. Ah, fuel quality. So, uh, nak-control ang tawag dyan and knock-out. Okay. Uh, so, kinokontrol nyo yung kotse mo para hindi mag-knock. Okay. So it really depends on your gas. So, ah. higher octane, Mas better. hindi na kinokontrol. It's uh -huh. better. The lower, the better. The okay. K-con. So, ang best niya is 0.49 to 0.6. 0.6. Tapos, Tapos pag, pag mga XCS, 95. mga 0.7 to 0.9. Okay. Pag ang leaded lang, yung lowest, is nasa 0.9 to 1.5. Okay. The higher, the higher niya kinokontrol yung coach mo. Para hindi ka mag -nap. Parang detune. Yes, okay. kinedetune niya. Okay? Kasi STF-1, STF-2. STF, 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 STF short-term fuel trimming and the long-term fuel trimming. Tinitrim niyo yung fuel base sa intake mo. Okay. So, i-start mo yung process. So, katulad yan, uh, 0% is best. Okay. Para at least wala siyang kinano, uh, kinocompensate. Uh -huh. So, nagko-compensate kasi yan eh. Di ba? Uh -huh. So, ngayon kanina naman negative 10. Ngayon, mm -hmm. is better na. Zero. 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 Zero lang dapat. 
at most. Well, gumagalaw talaga yan. Okay. So, compensation niya mga plus 20, negative 20, ganyan. Okay. But, mas mataas sa 10, nag-a-adjust tayo. Okay. So, the zero, uh, zero is best. Okay. Ngayon, okay. okay. maganda. Okay. Alright? Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we just left New Gen. And, um, basically, first impression. So, Okay, uh, it's true th what they say about having meters, a tuner. Turn left on na, it, it, a it improves torque down low. So, pag tinapak mo sa gas, it, it wants to go na. Before, parang, it felt like someone's trying to pull you or there's like lag. Now, it's giving you a push talaga. Tapos, yeah, nandun, nandun siya. Maybe yung pag-increase ng boost, that's one of the reasons why it feels, it feels more punchier. Okay. So initially, we wanted the version 1.2 lang, pero Sir Alvin offered me this version 2 from his friend they used. Uh, the price is actually very similar na, so I got it. days na since na install yung key tuner natin tapos siguro initial review like few days parang na review is I noticed yung when okay if I had to compare it na lang um, pag naka eco mode ako before parang once you step on the gas um, it felt like magdo drop mo na yung likod ko before it goes now on eco mode uh, with the key tuner it feels more um, linear to a point na what do you call this? to a point na you step on the gas kahit gano ka liit yung throttle um, step mo it would go na tapos yun nga, linear siya in the sense na it, you don't feel na nag-change na yung gear as much or like yung power basta nandun siya then on normal mode um, it feels alive now. Like, um, safe. I'm oh, sorry. Eco friendly pa rin siya, in a sense. Pag magaan tapak mo, hindi siya yung parang kakajot ka or something. Then, pag bigla mo tinapak yung gas, hahataw na siya. Then, um, now, sa sport mode, as in, yung boost. Since it increased kayo yung boost natin from 16 PSI to 21 PSI, yung feeling niya, tingnan ko sport mode, iba na. As in, um, yung ballpark range ng wheel horsepower na sinabi sa atin is, um, if the Civic RS Turbo stock, stock lang pag-usapan, nasa 148 horsepower, 150, depende, depende sa ano, uh, engine condition. Then with the K tuner plus 28 horsepower, so nasa one se almost one 170 to 180 na tayo plus yung headers natin uh, exhaust intake then nakablaze tayo na tune so mas safe tayo uh, sa higher boost natin so all of those parang estimate palang naman na base base tune nasa 180 siguro tayo na wheel horsepower then if pinatune natin siya, it could go around 200 to 215 wheel horsepower. So, mabilis. As in, solid. Now, would I, would I advise to get a K-tuner? Yes. As in, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter kung version 1 or version 2. Same lang naman sila. Pinaka-difference nga lang is, yeah. 
uh, with a K tuner V2, you get a screen. Then, only problem ko right now with it is, medyo harang siya, like blind spot siya. I'm trying to look for a way, um, not buying from the US na mount. Kasi usually, lahat na nakikita ko, nasa US pa lang yung parang adapter to it. So, plan ko is to make shift something here wherein um, dito ko siya mamamount. Kasi, if you look at it, ito, mas okay siya if nandyan siya compared to here. So, yun. So, um, I'll update you if ever na may nagawa way for it to be installed there. Or, another option is right here. Kasi, initially, Technically, everything I need to see except yung odometer, makikita ko naman sa key tuner siya. So, yun. Yun yung pre-figure out ko. Like, nasa Lazada or Shopee lang ako trying to make shift like different mounts to different parang ball size na para pag-adapter ng mount ni key tuner. So, yun. Um, to all our Turbo owners, Civic SI owners, Okay, tuner, yeah, worth the money. So yun. Actually, since inga, I mentioned, parang this is a different day already. Um, I forgot to clip to get a clip for an outro. So, yun. Um, <clears throat> just gonna make this one a long video, no edits. So in our next video, makita nyo how to clean your air air filter so um with that that concludes our clip for today then watch out for our next clip that's coming maybe next week or within the week and comment down below if you have any suggestions on what videos i should make hi bruno hi bruno Ayan. so uh, so comment down below any sug video suggestions that you want to see me do then uh, don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next clip